Hi guys, today it's going to be prepositions of places and these two are actually very confusing sa marami sa atin. Tama ba? Ang gagamitin po natin ngayon, ang pag-aaralan natin ay prepositions of places na on at saka in. Ang daming pwedeng gamitin or gamitan ng prepositions na to sa mga places. Location, position. Pero ngayon, pag-usapan natin kung ano bang tamang gamitin sa mga transportation. Siguro confusing talaga. If you are ready, I'm gonna give you a sentence and we're going to explain why it is on or in. Okay, if you remember, uh, eto, etong gantong usapin, um, napakainit dati na ito sa, sa lahat ng sites that has to do with grammar and dami dong nag uh, argue or nag debate kung ano ba talaga ang tamang gamitan what, what are those on a bus or in a bus on a train or in a train in a car or on a car in a taxi or on a taxi okay start tayo dun sa on a bus on the bus at saka on the train when you use those uh, or that preposition on ang ibig sabihin nun ay you are a passenger ikaw ay pasahero ng bus or ng train pwede rin yung MRT at LRT so if you want to make sentence I'm on the bus I'm on a bus just the same thing going to Baklaran we are on the train going to Monumento so ibig sabihin you are going to a place. Babiyahe ka. Alright. Pwede bang gamitin yung in the bus or in the train? Oh, yes. That's, that's also correct. We can also use in the bus. Kung yung on ay ikaw ay pasahero at yung bus ay gagalaw at babiyahe. Ito namang in ay ibang purpose mo kung ba't nasa loob ka ng bus. Kasi pag sinabing in... It is something that is enclosed. Diba? Yung bus naman, enclosed naman. Hindi naman totally open yun eh. At saka yung train. So there should be something that's, that's like with the four corners. That means my enclosure siya. So pwede rin gamitin yung in. Kaya lang hindi ka pasare, pasahero pag ang ginamit mo ay in. I'll say this sentence. If you see my sentence, the mechanic is in the bus repairing something. In the bus. Nasa loob siya ng bus. Why not? So is it correct to say in the bus or in a bus? Why not? But it should be a different meaning. Let's go to the other or sa train naman tayo. The janitor is in the train doing the cleaning. Okay, hindi naman siya pasahero eh. Is it a question whether the bus is moving or not? Or the train is moving or not? Naturalmente hindi siya moving kasi there is a function doing on, uh, going on inside. All right? I don't know if you can clean, you know, the the train while moving. Ay, hindi man ako papayag as a passenger. Di ba yung may nagwawali sa, halap, sa harap mo? Okay, that's the use of it. So, pwede yung in a train, in in a, in a bus as well. Pero, uh, iba na yung purpose mo doon. Pero, pag pampasahero, don't forget it's on lang. Okay. Now, sa car naman tayo at saka sa taxi. Get in the car. Please, come on, get in the car get in in the car is it or are you a passenger pasahero ka ba or pupunta ka ba sa iba yes whether you are a passenger and nirentahan mo lang yung taxi or what you still have to use in bakit in doon pero sa bus on doon na yun doon na ngayon mag uh, papasok yung idea na ginagamit natin yung on sa bus at saka sa train and other bigger transportation like public transportation because we are uh, referring dun sa floor area nung sasakyan remember sa bus at saka sa train we have the freedom to stand to walk at syempre to you know to find a seat kaya nga on the floor eh. on the second floor on the third floor we don't say in alright so pag, pag on ang ginamit mo dun you are actually referring to the to the surface of the the bus and the train hindi yung enclosure okay that is the difference. Kaya lang, sa taxi at sa, ka sa car, we don't move any other way than just sitting down. When you even get in the car, nakaupo ka pa rin. 
So there is no freedom for you to step in. Walang consideration of the surface of the the car. Kaya in lang siya. Uh, rather, in lang. Tama. In a car and in a taxi. They are in the taxi going to London. Social. Alright? However, the question is, pwede bang gamitin yung on a car and on a taxi? Yes, of course. Yung bubong ng kotse, yung bubong ng taxi, paano kung naandun yung pusa? It's another story. Alam nga naman yung tao would stay on, on the car and on the taxi. Di ba hindi? Eh kung nahulog lang siya doon at namatay, go. Hmm, the dead body is on the taxi. It actually jumped from the high building. Okay. So, if you can imagine that cat on the, on the taxi, ah, nasa bubong siya. That cat in the, on the car, nasa bubong yung cat. Alright? So, we can also use that in a different way naman. Pero yung passenger ang ating po focus ngayon. Alright. If you would like to ask me kung ano ba talaga ang gamit sa jeepney. In a jeepney or on the jeepney, it's gonna be on. Meron din tayong freedom to walk. And there is like a surface that is not just for one or two, but for many. Kaya nagiging on din sa jeepney. Sa bicycle at sa motor bike, motor, motor, bakit naman on ang gamit? Because they are not, we are not actually referring to an enclosed space this time, pero ang, it is an open space. So ang ating iniisip doon ay sitting on, sitting on. Like we sit on a, on a chair. Diba? Yung, yung bicycle, they sit on that seat in that bicycle part and the motorbike. So, on a bike, on a motorbike, not in. Wala naman enclosure doon eh. Okay? Or enclosed space doon eh. So, anything that's open, like, uh, like a bicycle or a cart na open, it should be on. Pero yung mga carriage na ng kabayo, diba yung maliit lang yon. In din yun dapat Kasi it, it is actually a small space You don't have the freedom to move around Helicopter, is it in or on? In then, in the helicopter In a helicopter Pero ang airplane, it should be on the plane Get on the plane, get off the plane That is all about the use of on and in When in terms of what? The vehicles And there are a lot more abuses of in and on Kung sa places ang pag-uusapan natin. That's gonna be discussed later on. If you have questions about on and in and clarification, please write down um, all those things in the comment section below. I'll be very, very glad to answer. I answer maybe like a day after kasi iniisa-isa ko yan. And I'd love to connect to my viewers and whoever is, you know, writing down comments in my videos. Thank you so much for your time. If you still are not part of our channel, please click that subscribe button and that notification bell icon as well para kang maging updated tayo okay at syempre pag naklik mo yung bell notification if you are a small youtuber like me alam mo na na maraming upload and therefore you have a lot of potential there are a lot of you know youtuber who could be your potential subscribers too thank you and you all have a great day